It's 35 days to Election Day, and in Congressional District 3, well, multi-term Congressman Raul Grijalva faces a challenge from a political newcomer in Daniel Wood. District 3 is predominantly Latino, covering much of southwestern Arizona along the border, as well as portions of Tucson, Marana, and even Phoenix. Now on your side, Rogelio Mara has heard from both congressional contenders getting their thoughts on big issues. Raul Grijalva has served in the United States Congress for nine terms. His challenger, Daniel Wood, served in the Marines, according to his campaign's website, for four years. Both men are hoping voters in Arizona's 3rd Congressional District will select them to serve in the next Congress. Kagan 9 asked them, who lives in this district? It's a district of hardworking people that aspire to be to go forward. Microcosm of what I think uh, a lot of the Southwest is like. It's a large group of, it was about 65% Hispanic, and uh, so it's a, it makes up a large group of that, and that's who lives in Arizona's 3rd District. Grijalva and Wood present different opinions on how to reform immigration and border policy. To really deal with, with, with needing to uh, reform a broken immigration system, needing to have something comprehensive, something humane, something that, uh, that values families, uh, that values young people like the Dreamers. We need to continue building the wall for sure. We're going to need to work on the asylum laws, reforming that. We're going to need to work on laws as far as protecting our citizens from illegal immigration. Um, we also need to work towards something that's big in, in my uh, my run is human trafficking. Regarding the pandemic, Congressman Grijalva says the government should present a solution. We need to respond with a real aggressive uh, effort. If, if the Senate doesn't agree to a realistic package, uh, come January, a new Congress and a new administration can, can attack it with, with, with the aggressiveness that we have to attack this issue of, of, of the pandemic. Mr. Wood says any vaccine would be a personal decision while suggesting a controversial medication as a possible solution. My thought about that is, is it should be up to the person's choice. We don't need to get involved as a government. We just offer it there. The study on the hydroxychloroquine, it's coming out. I know everybody, you know, the news came after it. A lot of folks came after it initially, but there's so much documentation now from doctors who have used it, and it has actually helped cure COVID-19. Both candidates offered up their pitch to voters in the district why they should be elected. This is why I want to go back and why I think I'm, in, I, I'm, I'm the best person for that job, is that when we come back, we are going to rebuild our economy and rebuild uh, the, the fractures in our society. I have been paycheck to paycheck guy. I'm a combat Marine veteran. I'm a, a prior law enforcement officer. I was a maintenance guy. I, I did everything. Since grijalva has been in, the economy in Tucson has just been, it's gone down and down and continues to go down. I'm not for that. I'm for getting this economy back up and rolling. See more about their positions on Black Lives Matter, police, and President Trump at kgun9.com. Rogelio Mares, KGun9, on your side.